Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be taking you guys into a week in my life at Columbia University. I also got a new pimple on the side of my nose, so that's kind of sad. This week, I'm planning on really just spending some more time by myself and enjoying that alone time. And I'm also planning on venturing out to the city a bit more. I'm starting to find the libraries at Columbia a little bit too depressing and suffocating. I feel like I'm really sick of just only studying in the library and staying on campus all day. So this week I'm gonna really try to get out of my comfort zone and get out of the Morningside Heights bubble, especially since school just started and things aren't too busy right now. I think I'm gonna go out more often to study after my classes end every day and yeah just like explore the city a bit more while I can. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. There's this cafe in the Flatiron District, and I'm gonna butcher the name, but it's called Ole and Steen, I believe. And I love coming here to work. It's a really nice area to work in, and it's also a very spacious cafe. They also serve really good Danish pastries, so that's always a plus. I really love the Flatiron District. I love the restaurants here, the cafes, the scenery, the architecture. I'm a huge architecture person. So I always come here and I find that usually when I come to Flatiron, I'm always here alone. So um, I don't know, coincidence, I guess. I don't actually remember what I was working on here, but I think, um, I mean, I don't know. I look very deeply focused, but I can't remember for the life of me what I was doing. bad at excel as you can tell and i've been trying to work on improving my excel skills but it's really hard it's not easy <laughs> Tuesday was a stressful day because I had a lot of work to do and also a lot of finance technicals that I was kind of behind on. After working in the library for a bit, I decided to get some help from my upperclassman mentor who's also part of my finance club. We went through some of the concepts and brushed over areas I didn't understand. For my art home class on Wednesday, we had a site tour at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine, and it was absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with the architecture and the history behind it, and it was really fun climbing up the cathedral and seeing the view from above as well. I want you to tell me what you see on this figure. I know you can read. I figured that out once I heard it was Columbia today. If it were my alma mater, my, my if it were Fordham, go Rams, I'd question it. But it's not, okay, it's Columbia. So I don't want you to...
어, 참 좋았어요. 참 기뻤어요. 참뭐 행복했어요. 블라블라. 네. And then, 어, 감사 카드니까. I was actually planning on going out to study today, but it was way too cold. It was snowing in the morning, and I just really didn't feel like it. So I spent my afternoon in the most depressing place on campus, that is the Butler Library. But it was okay because my friend joined me afterwards, and that was pretty fun. I did. Just, do you know what to write, or is it just weird? Yeah, I know. I know what to write. I didn't get a chance to record any footage of me in class today, but I had a laser hair removal treatment after class, and this is just me going to that. <laughs> Fun tip for the girls, if you really hate shaving like me, you can try out laser hair removal. It's really effective. I personally love it, so... <laughs> I went shopping for a bit before going to the Apple store. My AirPods were broken, so I went in for a repair. I was really craving for Chinese food all week, especially the Chinese pastries. So I decided to hop on the subway again and go down to Chinatown. I'm going to end the vlog here because Thursdays are usually when the classes are done and pretty much everything for the week is finished, at least at school. But I have quite a busy weekend coming up. I have some activities, a lot of deadlines to do, some work to do, and that's gonna look really different from what I did during the week. As much as I wanted to make this video so that you guys can have an insight into what it's like to be at Columbia University, I also made this video for myself. I recently made a friend over winter break who made me realize that I really wasn't taking advantage of the fact that I was going to college in my dream city. I think one of the greatest things about attending Columbia is the abundance of opportunities you get solely from the fact that you are in New York. Yet for the past semester, I haven't really left my comfort zone. While opportunities mean different things for different people, for me, it starts from truly understanding the city and its people and its culture. Something else you might have noticed from watching this video is that I've been spending a majority of my week alone by myself. Like a lot of college freshmen, I struggled a lot with loneliness during my first semester of college. I spent the last two years of high school in a boarding school, so I'm no stranger to living alone. But the loneliness I felt in college was unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Maybe fear of missing out was also in play, but I tried everything to distract myself, surrounding myself with someone at all times. I felt uneasy being alone, which was unusual because back at home, I used to always enjoy being alone. Realizing that this was a problem, I'm now taking time to myself to truly understand that being alone shouldn't make you lonely. It is not solitude that breeds loneliness, but a lack of understanding about oneself. At the end of the day, you must depend on no one but yourself.